Good morning, everybody. We took a couple of days of rest, but now we're back at it with another leg day. Um, I have recorded, I think, a shoulder day, but that was super short. I might upload that later. We'll see what happens. But today we have a leg day ran by yours truly. <laughs> um, I think we're going to bounce back and forth as far as ideas with legs, but nonetheless, we're going to bring the intensity. And of course, we like to chill in the car before heading in the gym, sipping the pre-workout, trying to let that uh, get in our system and then we'll be hitting our legs. I'll see you guys in there for the first working set. All right, guys, so we are starting with glute bridges at the Smith machine. And here's the setup. We got the bench there. We're still doing our feeder sets, warming up, but it looks like we're gonna bias the glutes today. And last time I did these was like, I wanna say it gotta be more than three months ago. It, it has been a while, but we'll do our best. I'll probably get up to, I wanna shoot for four plates. Let's see how, let's see how we go. I got like um, more sleep than I usually usually do. I think I got like at least eight hours. If I slept at 10, yeah, I wanna say I, I at least got eight hours of sleep and yesterday was a rest day, so we should be good to go. All right guys, so this is gonna be the um, second Sorry. feeder set. We got two plates on here. Oh, get more blood flowing to the glutes. Okay, that's pretty easy, so we're just gonna keep going plate by plate. Third feeder set. I'll try and get under here real quick. For this, I'm just gonna try and hit a double, and then we'll see how this feels. Three wasn't so bad, so we'll do another plate and then just keep moving up from there. Okay, I think this is the top set for her. Uh oh, gotta do some rearranging. And on this, what you wanna focus on, we'll see, we'll wrap around here a little bit. And then you can see that her knees are about perpendicular to the floor. That way we'll be able to leverage the weight and bias the glutes here. So if your legs are too far in front of you, you're not gonna feel as much tension on the glutes here. Salt set. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we got on the working weight now and we're gonna shoot for at least six to 10, hopefully towards the top end of that. See how strong my glutes have gotten so far. Oh shit, let's move this a little bit. You want to get some good leverage, and just like I was mentioning earlier, uh, when your feet are in front of you, you want to make sure your shins are about perpendicular to the floor. So straight up and down. All right, start at the top. Three, two, one. Go. Ooh, shit. That was actually heavy as fuck. <sighs> I couldn't really get like the pause at the peak contraction there at the top, but that's okay. We'll probably just stay here, do one more set, and then uh, a back off set. Drop it down a little bit. Oh, shit. <sighs> okay, for this set, we're gonna do a back off set, and we're just feeling the contraction here. So squeeze, stretch and squeeze the glutes. And what we're trying to do is get the blood flow to the glutes. Because when you get a good pump, you know that you're working. And here's a little pause there. Nice. All right, guys, it's uh, 
the top set here and this one since I'm a little bit more acclimated to the weight I'm gonna do my best to try and control it that much better I felt like I still had good control over the, the last set but let's see what we can do with this one Oh shit, okay. That was way better controlled than the last one. I was able to even like pause a little bit at the bottom and then squeeze at the top. <sighs> All right guys, so we're gonna do single leg on the leg press here and we'll try and Up. Stick that opposite leg through. Push up. Okay, that's pretty easy, so we'll stick four with this leg. Okay. So that was like a feeder set and then we'll move up the next one. Okay. Okay guys, I lied. This will be the top set. Uh, spot myself up. Uh, I think, what do we get, like seven or something? Pull yourself into the seat. Uh, one. Uh, 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 four. Come on. Five and a half. Let's rest like a couple minutes, hit the right leg. And then we'll be done. We're in the right leg now. And this will probably be the top set here. Uh, start up here. And to even get like a better stretch on the glute, you can even like hinge a little bit at the hips. Four. Uh, two. Five. Oh shit, I think that might be it for that man. And then we'll do more like isolation movements with, I think she want to do like a leg extension or the hamstring curl. Let's see what we got in the store. Okay, last set. And we were just talking about uh, how when you got a glute pump, it's out of out of pocket, especially for guys. But I think I hit five and a half on the other one, so I gotta even it out. One, one, Hoop. Up. ooh, ooh. Okay, now let's head over to uh, kind of like a quad bias squat. Pranked me in the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, we're um, trying to bias the quads now, so move your heels back as far as you can without having your um, heel come off the floor. And we're gonna stay in the bottom portion here. <sighs> Okay. God damn. So I'll probably just stay here and do one more set. That's it. 
All right, this is Bay's uh, working set. I think this is the second one. Uh oh, what's going on? That might be too heavy. All right, that was too light for her. She said she's gonna move up. So we'll see what she got. Okay, ooh, good depth. Nice. That's what you need. Good work. Come on. Okay. How's that? <laughs> You're on. Ah, shit. Okay, I'm about to put another plate on. Because um, when you got a lifting partner, when they keep putting weight on, that means you got to put some more weight on too. All right. So, peep this range of motion. Ah, get your footing set. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Right there. Three. One more. Fuck. That's it. God damn. Okay, maybe hit some leg extensions. Can then be done. <laughs> Man, what you doing? God damn. I gotta catch my breath. I'm lightheaded. <laughs> All right, guys, we're moving to the leg extension. I'm not sure what really I got left. So we'll do our best. Three, two, one. There you go. Get your weight up. <laughs> started what you started. God damn, somebody is running crazy on that treadmill. <laughs> there you go. Get that squeeze. Nice. Hey. All right, guys, this will be the top set for me. I'll be done. Sorry. Three, two. Okay, still failed out around the same, but we're done here. <sighs> Try and fail out at like eight. Uh. All right guys, that concludes the leg day here at 24 Hour Fitness. And actually this might turn into a whole little kind of vlog ordeal to where we take you out um, through Costco. And my boy, uh, BLXTT, I think that was his at name on Instagram, wanted to see a little bit more of dieting, how to bulk, how to cut, and all that jazz. And as far as bulking and cutting foods, they're gonna, they're gonna be typically the same thing I eat. However, I'll just eat more. So if I'm eating, um, you know, one cup of rice during a cut, two cups of rice during a bulk, that easy. But I'll see you guys um, 
probably catch you guys at, at Costco. All right, y'all, we just about to head to Costco. But first things first, I don't think I ate much today. So, what I have, I think I only had like a little bit of Gatorade powder, of course, and then I had, um, what else I have? Oh, one Rice Krispie. So not too much, but I do gotta get my protein shake in. So we're gonna go hit a Costco run, and I'll show you guys what we typically grab on a, a clean up, sort of cut, sort of recomp kind of diet. Are you ready to go to Costco, little one? Yeah? What about you, little guy? Come on, let's go. Hey, Styles. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's get you loaded up. We're going to Costco. I guess this is a kind of a day in the life. We gotta clean the car out, but come on, little man. Let's go. Sissy's coming too. So is mom. Let's get you loaded up. What's up, chocolate face? What are we gonna get today? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get some fruit, some ground beef, um, veggies, probably. No, we got some frozen veggies at the house. So we'll typically get like ground beef, actually green beans for veggies, frozen. And then I like to do mixed veggies with my green beef. Hey, watch out, man. All right, first stop, some cuties for the little cutie. These are only like $7.99, so this should last up until Maybe next Costco run. All right, second stop is uh, Cosmic Crisp apples for $6.99. A couple things of fruit. You know, guys, those Cosmic Crisps are pretty pricey. So we're gonna get a couple of these, uh, what are these? Gala apples too. Next like cheat day, we're definitely gonna try this. It's a triple chocolate cream pie. Oh my God. And another super easy thing to do is that we grab these party wings and air fry them. I typically have like 10 wings for dinner, so it's not too bad. And we're walking through this kind of prepared stuff. This is pretty good. It's just, yo, chill, chill. It's just a little too pricey. Like, eh. And we typically grab like um, a rotisserie chicken as well, but eh, we, got, um, we got frozen rotisserie still left over from last Costco trip. So that's totally fine. And then what I like to grab from here is whenever there's like some good deals. Good deal. On some of the Kevin stuff is pretty lean. Um, what else? And that's, and then I don't really like the, uh, I got exhausted from the uh, skewers, the chicken skewers that they had here. Really too much, those are, those are getting nasty to me now. Also what's pretty good is this, uh, Already prepared shrimp. They used to have some poke over here. I would never get this again, this chicken pot pie. That chicken pot pie was, it was good. It was really good, but it was just way too dense. You could tell it was like filled with thousands of calories. And we had that, we were eating that for like three days. And we're walking through the drink aisle. We typically get one of these but we still have some leftover. Or we get like Diet Dr. Pepper, which is pretty good. And then when I'm, okay, all right, all right. And when I'm typically in like um, prep mode, I grab some of these Kirkland Signature or sparkling ice drinks too. All right guys, we're gonna grab one of these Gatorade Zeros. My sister grabbed one of these last time. They're actually pretty good. Hey man, calm down. So what we got so far is this and some cuties. And you know the kids gotta have some honest juice. So we're grabbing you some of that styles. All right, we switched kids. What else can we get? I had these before. They're not bad and they're on sale, but I'm not getting those again. I don't think they're worth it. All right, looks like we're gonna re-up on some of our rotisserie chicken breast strips. And these are fire if you throw these on a salad over some rice or whatever. 
And of course, this has been a staple for $23. We get five pounds of 91 lean ground beef. Oh yeah, you know we gotta grab the Catalina Crunch. This is one of my favorites for $10.99. Some good old uh, keto cereal in the diet. All right guys, I think they got us. We're about to try these probiotic strawberry yogis. So this is what the cart's looking like as of now. All right, and if you're blind like me, you get your contact solution here and it's on sale for $2 off. I'll grab one of these. And you know what, since this is on sale for $12.79, we're gonna grab some of this. You know what, we all about deals here. So this is a fruity for $23.99, which is salad. Oh God, I can't pick it up with one hand. Hold on, let me do this. Okay. And I feel like that's the trip. All right, buddy, what was the damage? 179.11. And then of course he gets a pizza and I've been hearing good things about that cookie. So if you tried that cookie, let me know, comment down below. But that's pretty much it for the Costco run. We're probably gonna go to Trader Joe's and we really like the, um, the teriyaki from there. So I'll show you guys what we get from there as well. All right, guys, it doesn't look like the run's completely over yet. The wife got actually one of these, it's warm. So I guess I get to try a little bit of that. It's just like a crumble cookie. So it's like 750 calories for the total thing. And of course we're not eating the whole thing. Okay, we're gonna try this. Wow, that is about the same size as your head. Okay, I'm opening it. You about to do the pull? Mm -hmm. Do it, do it. Oh, oh my, oh my god. gosh. Oh god. Whoops. Okay, so that thing is 800 calories. Let's see what you got. Ooh, a bite right out the middle. Mm. How is it? It's really rich. Really rich. Like your hubby. Mm hmm. How many out of 10? Ooh, that's rich. Um, ooh, ooh, wee. That's why it's so many calories. I'll give it like an eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty okay, good. Okay, solid. 